Christy Rosgon, and I teach fourth grade at Myrtle Avenue Elementary School. My name is Lauren Oberinger, and I teach second grade at Myrtle Avenue Elementary School. Today is World Read Aloud Day, and with World Read Aloud Day, we are having guest speakers. We are doing paired reading with fourth grade to second grade, and we are doing this across the district in Keystone Oaks. And what we've decided to do is we partnered up and we're celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday, which is March 2nd, along with this special day, World Read Aloud Day, and having our students, fourth grade and second grade, partner up. They're reading to each other. They listen to Horton Hears a Who Out Loud, and they also did a craft and they're enjoying snacks throughout today. This event is going on through the elementary buildings in Keystone Oaks, and what a big success we're having here at Myrtle. Very small, very small shirker named Jojo was standing, just standing, and bouncing a yo-yo. Not making a sound, not a yip, not a chirp, and the mayor rushed inside and grabbed the young twerp. <laughs> and he climbed with the lad up the Eiffelberg Tower. This, cried the mayor, is your town's darkest hour. The time for all who's who have blood that is red to come to the aid of their country, he said. We've got to make noises in greater amounts. So open your mouth, lad. What are going to make? So, yeah. uh, for slavery. The ones that could fly shed their wings. They couldn't take their wings across the water on the slave ships. Too crowded, don't you know? This doesn't look fun, does it? Vampires. <laughs> the folks were full of misery then, got sick with the up and down of the sea. So they forgot about flying when they could no longer breathe the sweet scent of Africa. Say so the people who could fly kept their power, although they shed their wings. They kept their secret magic in the land of slavery. They looked the same as the other people from Africa who had been coming over, who had dark skin. So you couldn't tell anymore who could fly from one who couldn't. Air is funny because it's a sound. How many of you can do that? Perros. That's a hard sound for Americans to make. Perros. But some people can do it. Numbers, yep. Wait, We're going to see that in Spanish. Spanish. This is in Spanish. Yeah. 